guys what's up welcome back to my channel it is the end of the year it's the end of 2019 and i'm back again with the hits and misses of 2019 now if you're new to my channel and you've never watched any of my videos and this is the first one you're watching then welcome to my channel i'm sara i make beauty related content here on youtube and if you're new here then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it if you do actually enjoy my content at the end of the video now for today I want to actually share my misses first because I want to end the year on a good note with the hits of 2019. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. I really can't believe and comprehend what happened the entire year and it feels like I tried a lot of makeup this year but somehow I do not have a lot of misses. I have a lot of makeup I ended up loving this year. Some are old loves which are still my favorites and some new discoveries but and also these are new misses they are not the ones from the last disappointments video or the ones before that these are fresh fresh disappointments in my collection so yeah if you want to know what they are then let's dive right into the video okay just a quick disclaimer before i dive into this video you all need to know that if these products didn't work out for me they don't necessarily mean that they should not work for you or they if you have them and you love them good for you but these are something that particularly did not they are not right up my alley or they did not go well with my liking in makeup and something or the other did not work for me in these makeup products so yeah that's the disclaimer i want to give and let's dive into the first product we have there are two foundations this year that did not work out for me and first one I'm going to finally say it over here that the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Matte Foundation does not work for me. I've tried it in multiple ways and this foundation just does not seem to work with my skin. Firstly, it breaks me out every single time I put this on my skin, the fragrance in this product does not agree with my skin and breaks me out immediately so that's something I'm not looking for in my base makeup because I don't want my skin to get worse over time just because I'm using makeup and the second thing is that the consistency of this is like paint so when you're blending it it's a really difficult task yes it gives you flawless coverage it gives you full coverage beautiful skin but uh, beautiful makeup overall but not beautiful skin and the blending on this is very difficult because it's like paint you know it takes a lot of time to really make it look good on your skin and make it sit well on your skin also i got a shade lighter than what i actually should be i have the shade brown sugar should have gone a shade darker so i tried using this as concealer and it does work so since i've paid like three grands for this foundation i do try to make it work i try to use it as concealer when i'm just going out uh, for a party or something where i don't have to film a video but even then it's it's not worth it it's just not worth the money and i feel Huda should come out with a variation of this which is which is full coverage and matte but also a little more skin like or a little more you know how the Fenty Beauty one is just like that so uh, yes I do know this foundation just does not work for me I know some people love it and makeup artists love it of course they would because makeup artists do aim at full coverage makeup when they're doing it for brides or stuff like that but personally just for videos and go going out for events this is not my pick at all okay so the second product that didn't actually work for me is another foundation and this one is by Chambord it's their extreme matte longwear foundation and they actually sent this to me in PR which I'm very grateful for because Chambord sending me PR like I said on my Instagram stories is a big deal for me that was the first makeup brand I actually invested in and uh, so it means a lot to me but I don't want to be biased and not mention the fact that I did not actually like this, uh, the one of the reasons being that there are only three shades in this and they were very considerate and sent me the darkest shade which is 303 but this was also a tad bit lighter for me and the undertone was not correct and second thing is that blending this was a real task because it turns patchy very soon and makeup on top of this does not blend very easily so my concealer was looking very patchy in this region my bronzer was looking very patchy so just overall as a base product i did not like this and they sent me the extreme matte foundation because uh, i am super oily and so they were kind enough to think that way and do that for me the whole team of Chambord is very supportive very very nice and very uh, great to interact with so i loved the team and loved working with them but this particular product i feel they could work on the formula a bit and make it a better kind of matte just work on the blending because it blends really really patchy otherwise the longevity and everything was really good 
but the blending only isn't good and then the products don't sit well so your base doesn't look really great so yeah I'm gonna put this in my misses of 2019 okay so the next products I want to dabble in are um, okay two eye products and then a lot of lipsticks that's all I got there is no bronzer blush highlight or eyeshadow palette or any of that that I did not like in the year 2019 because I feel like whatever I did try I ended up really liking and what I did not like was all in my previous disappointments videos so you can check that out to know what you should not invest your money in but there are two uh, eye products right here this is the Nika IM 24 by 7 kajal and actually Shreya Jen really really likes this she says it's very pigmented it is a dupe for the MAC kajal and it's very good in itself and so I went ahead and purchased this but somehow initially it was really good and even I was praising it but it was burning my eyes initially but even then I was using it because it looked so good and later on now that I have it it's super dried up like it's dried so fast that it just doesn't show up can you see this and even if I like break off a little bit of the tip and then try to get pigment it dries up again super super soon so it's super crusty dries up really fast and then does not show up on the eyes at all so this kajal was not at all great I did not like this at all because initially it was burning my eyes and later when it stopped burning it stopped showing up as well so yeah this is another kajal I do not recommend the next product I have over here is the mini so mini pony mascara this is the rainbow lashes mascara from their range and it has purple on one side and black on the other side and let me just tell you that both look the same on your eyes the purple doesn't look purple at all it's not that vibrant purple so both look the same so you're just getting too much of black in this mascara but it's not volumizing not lengthening really doesn't do anything for your lashes just coats them and yeah that's about it so it's a waste of money I do really like the mini so powder and the mini so eye pencils but the mascara was a total fail now for lip products let's start with the first disappointment I had in 2019 that was a Nykaa Molten Matte Lip and Cheek Tint I was very excited for this launch actually that's why I was very disappointed when I got my hands on this because when he said lip and cheek tint the Lacme lip and cheek is some of my favorite on are some of my favorite lipsticks on the market because they give you that moussey finish you can use them multitask with them and they look really good and stay on for a decent amount of time but these ones were total opposites I do not like the formula on this at all they're very it's a very oily formula it smells weird tastes weird and also does not like okay it's a tint so does not show up that much but also doesn't have any sort of longevity like I would do this and my lipstick is gone that's how oil based it is I do love them as cheek tints that's why I still have them and I'm using them because they're very beautiful as your cheek tints I love using the shade Rachel the most on my cheeks and when I'm get, like going out to the mall or something I don't want to do makeup uh, my favorite is Serena so it's just a uh, pick Serena the darkest maroon they have going on and this Rachel is a nice nude color this is the shade 01 this is 09 but I do not recommend you buying them because uh, there are better lip and cheek tints on the market which are water based and if you want a nice mousse based one you should go and get your hands on the Lacme lip and cheek but these ones are a total 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 fail from my side there's another Nykaa launch from the lipstick category which also disappointed me very much now I don't remember if I reviewed these in 2018 or in 2019 I will check and leave it here but I did do a video, a separate individual review video for these lipsticks and in that video I did say that you could try one and you would like it and if you like it then you can go ahead and purchase more but the problem was that the more I kept them in my cupboard the more uh, these separated like the formula separates from the water and the oil and then later on when you go on to apply them they don't look as flattering and as beautiful as they did the first time when I tried it in my video they just get very watery the shade Madras Kapi was a nude shade which was so beautiful but I had to literally throw it because that completely separated and these ones are also on the verge of separating I decided to put this in the video and then finally get rid of these lipsticks for good because I'm not using them and they're just lying in my cupboard and they are some there are some beautiful shades in this but the quantity you get is very less the formula is not the best it just is not the best and so I do not recommend them anymore at all so if you've seen my Nykaa review video and thought you should buy them come back to this video and do not buy this okay so the next product is one that really hurt me it hurt my heart it hurt my pocket because this is the Ofra liquid lipstick now I'm 
so excited for Ofra to get to India. It's not even funny when I came to know I was so mad that I did not come to know sooner and I bought I just placed a huge order spent nearly five six thousand on that order and each lipstick from Ofra costs nearly two thousand rupees but the lipstick formula is just not up to the mark like the way it's hyped in the US the most comfortable liquid lipstick and this and that but honestly it's not really a liquid lip it's not it's not a dry down liquid lip formula. It's like a NYX soft matte lip cream formula. It's a soft matte lip cream. It's not a liquid lipstick. So it's a misnomer, firstly. Secondly, because it's a lip cream, I feel I'm paying too much to get a lip cream in this. Or uh, in 1500, 1700, how much of this was, it's not, just not worth it. And secondly, I do actually like one shade from this, or the shade Milan, which I have to sample size. I do really like it. But once again, it's because of the lip cream, it's not that long wearing and that is the only shade which is opaque. So the darker shades are really, really opaque. But the lighter, lighter shades, like I have the shade Mocha right here. Then I have three more mini samples which are nude colors and they are not that opaque. So if you do want to try something from their range, I suggest you go in for the darker colors. But the nudes and the lighter colors are really not worth your money. They are not opaque enough not long lasting enough and yes they are comfortable but if you are looking for a soft matte lip cream invest in a cheaper one is what i would recommend this is something i do not recommend another lipstick that really hurt me you know it really hurts when my lipsticks fail because one i love lipsticks and two i spend my own money on this so it really really hurts when it doesn't perform well and this is the Light Crime Red Velvet Lipstick. This I got because Cheryl from Riverdale uh, wears this in the show and her red lipstick is a signature red lipstick. You know, you want to get that red lip and I love my red lipsticks. I adore red lipsticks altogether and I have a huge collection of them. So I really want to get my hands on this, you know, like a collector's item. But the formula on this is just not the best. It does not last long enough, does not last through food. And the worst is, forget about lasting, it's not that it fades very evenly, it crusts and crust and it goes inside your mouth so it's a very drying formula very thin formula and just not long lasting enough and i like my red lipsticks to be long lasting because red is a color i mostly wear to parties events and i want my lipstick to stay throughout the event and not have to touch them up so that's the reason i do not like this lipstick at all or uh, did not like the formula will not invest in any other lime crime liquid lipstick just because this one did not perform well and I think this is the last product that I have. Yeah, this is the last product for the misses of 2019. And I don't necessarily want to bash this lipstick because this is a Wet n Wild um, metallic liquid lipstick in the shade I Don't Desert You. And it's not the lipstick's fault at all. I love the formula actually. I love Wet n Wild liquid lipstick formulas. But just metallic lipsticks altogether. The whole trend of metallic lipsticks does not agree with me. I When I first tried this on, I felt it was a very great shade and I would use it a lot. But let's be honest, I did not use it ever after I used it in that one video where I reviewed Wet n Wild products. So honestly speaking, the whole metallic lipstick trend doesn't go well with me. I feel like... Um, you know, you need to get over it. Like Nykaa just came out with their metallic lipsticks and their strobe lip cream or something and I'm just like, you're too late into the trend. The whole trend was 90s. It came back for a second and went away because I don't think people are up for it just yet. Like the mattes are some of my favorites. They will always stay my favorites. Like my entire lipstick collection is mostly matte. So yeah, just the metallic lipstick trend altogether in 2019. I do not agree with it. I'm disappointed in that trend. And that was the misses of 2019 from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was quite a short video. Didn't have that many misses, which is great for me because my money did not get that wasted as it usually does. So yeah, I hope there are more hits. I think there will be quite a lot of hits this year. Yeah, I really need to look into my collection and see what really blew off my socks in the year 2019 and put them in my hits video. So if you want to watch that, click on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified next Sunday when it goes up. For now, if you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Love you all.